Each year, 1.4 million new cases of breast cancer are diagnosed worldwide, with over 230,000 in the US alone. Here's the problem. With over 100,000 breast cancer patients choosing to have breast conserving surgery, over one in four of these will need to go back for more surgery because the surgeon didn't get all of the cancer. As a patient, how important is it to you that they get it right first time? And as a healthcare provider, how can you reduce the cost of those repeat surgeries? Because it is a big cost. In the US, over a quarter of a billion dollars each year. We have developed a new type of fiber optic imaging tool that acquires high resolution images of tissue to help the surgeon find all of the cancer. What is special about our device is not only how well it delineates between healthy and cancerous tissue, but how small it is. We've miniaturized it so small that we can fit it inside a needle, a microscope in a needle. The microscope in a needle is a platform technology which can address multiple market needs. For example, in brain surgery, we've developed smart biopsy needles that can detect blood vessels, helping surgeons to avoid bleeds. In lung disease, we've demonstrated that the microscope and needle can image individual alveoli. This has applications for pharmaceutical companies developing new drugs for chronic lung disease. And we've developed multifunction probes that can image tissue and deliver small quantities of fluid at the point of imaging. And we've recently developed our next generation probe that can simultaneously acquire a microscopic image and a fluorescence image. We will be able to detect fluorescent biomarkers as deep in the body as you can insert a needle. We have a world-class team that have been developing this technology for the past seven years. That includes leaders like Professor David Sampson, with over 20 years experience in the field of biomedical optics. Professor Christabel Saunders, a leading Australian breast cancer surgeon and researcher and myself, a researcher with additional product development experience from a successful University of Oxford spin-out and as a product manager with Siemens. The value of this team and this work has been recognised in the top peer review journals in our field, an NHMRC development grant and as finalists for the Australian Eureka Prize twice. We've built a multifaceted patent portfolio with three patent applications protecting key aspects of optimising this technology and have completed initial proof of concept trials in lung and human breast cancer samples. We are seeking funding to spin this technology out into a company to finalise proof of concept in humans with our optimised probes with the goal of positioning ourselves for M&A within five years. We look forward to discussing this more with you.